Spiritual Zoe in the building. I want to make this video quick and simple. This video is not going to be that long. I just want to say something real quick. So first thing first, for some of y'all that don't know, I know y'all, most of y'all already know this. The rapper slash singer Juice World passed away. They say he passed away this morning, or I just found out this morning that he passed away from suffering from seizures. Um, For some of y'all that don't know who Juice World is, dude had the number one song in 2018, the number one billboard hit. He got a lot of songs this year. He's on this song, I'm a bandit. He the one that, I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. I definitely can't listen to none of his music right now because I don't want to feel bad, bro. Dude made it out of this hellhole. He made it out this matrix. Was he sacrificed for y'all to understand that you don't need to be popping pills? Do, do y'all need to... Do, do. Let me tell y'all this, man. If you want to become an artist, do you know what you have to rap about? If you're not rapping about it, you're not become, you're not getting on chop charts. You're not getting pushed. They're not going to fuck with you. You have to rap about the stuff that's killing us. You have to promote popping pills. You have to promote killing people, robbing. You have to promote fuck these hoes. You have to promote these things. If you're a female, you have to promote twerking, ratchet shit, getting cheated on, always in bad relationships. All of this is mind control. Dude was put in position, Juice World was put in a position to destroy yourself. He was crying out in all his music, but y'all couldn't see past the entertainment. He even said that he wasn't going to make it past 21. I think I remember him saying that. Dude, I, I swear I think he said some of this, some shit like this in his music. And he also said, why the good die young? All Bro, he had all of this fucking depression ass messages in his music and none of y'all couldn't see past the entertainment. Do you think his label really care that he's gone right now? Y'all know they can, they can make another Juice World right now to promote this stuff and push it, make it number one? Let me tell y'all this. For all y'all that's on these prescription drugs, if you got pain, etc., if you're going through some tough situations, I'm trying to tell you, these man-made pills, man-made, the only reason why they are made is to keep you addicted and attached to it and never leave it. Pain pills is not numbing your pain, bro. It's not. Why you think it's numbing it? you? It is working its ass off to make you stuck to that shit. That shit is in your body. It's going to be hard for you to quit. Y'all know them withdrawals. Think about the withdrawal. That's why it's hard for some of y'all to quit. Think about the withdrawals. A lot of y'all only popping pills because y'all hear these people talking about it. Like Billie Eilish. Y'all know who Billie Eilish is? The little 17-year-old girl. She just dropped a song called Zanny. Now they want all these little young girls to pop Zans. She said, oh, Zanny, you feel so good to me. Like, y'all could go look right now. She dropped a song called Zanny. The whole agenda is to destroy y'all. Now everybody is sad as fuck. Everybody vibration low and they just feeding off all this. Yet Juice World been crying in all his songs, crying out for help in all his songs, and it ain't nothing he can do. They made him number one off promoting popping pills. Dude, think about all the pain and suffering he had to go through in his head. Because he trapped. He Juice World. Like, what he supposed to do? Number one songs? Well, he gonna just stop? He can't stop doing none of that. He have no choice. They put him in a position to destroy yourself. And the way this energy work, who knows if he even died from seizures? I don't trust nothing. When the media say something, I don't trust it. But I know in his music, he said he was taking prescription drugs. But they just don't fool me with none of that bullshit. Let me tell you this. You have to get off these drugs right now. You have to get You got to leave these prescription drugs alone. It's not healing your pain. It's not doing nothing to help you. Nothing. You think it's making you cope? Don't do. You think you coping with some shit? It's not healing you. It's not. No, it's not, bro. These are devil pills. Zans, Percocets, Mal, all this shit y'all do. It's killing people. That's why they push these artists. That's why they make them number one. It's really people out here dying. Y'all, okay, Juice World just died. Probably thousands and thousands of other people just died from that shit too, right now while we making this video. They probably just died from them pills too. Every single day. Prescription drugs is one of the number opioids. That's one of the number one cause of leading death in America, bruh. 
That's why they push this shit. They shove all this shit in your face. Then they got these fucking artists. Y'all think these artists be happy. They coping with their pain with these drugs. When you become famous, you're not happy. You are trapped. You are a slave for the matrix. So they got to travel the world. They got to do all this shit coping with their pain while pushing these agendas. Popping all these pills. Like, think about it. If you want to become an artist, you're not popping unless you promote and put killing us, man. Popping pills. To make a long story short, I want to send some prayers out to his family. Send some love to his family. Industry destroyed this man. Dude was like a, a freestyle guy. He could freestyle to anything. He a young legend, man. Made it out this hellhole. Made it out this matrix. Hopefully his death wake a lot of people up. It should. Like he said, the good die young. Dude was only 21. So please stay away from the drugs, y'all. Keep y'all head up, man. Keep y'all head up. I'm not listening to none of his music right now because it, it had me feeling some type of way. But I just want to let y'all know I love y'all, man. And just y'all have to look at stuff for what it is. If you see an artist right now that's rapping about popping pills and you know they popping pills or sipping lean, et cetera, th th their time is coming. Anyway, take care of yourself. I love y'all. Spiritual soul signing off.